welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making a tie-dye cake um the first thing I did was separate my batter into six bowls then I added the food color into those bowls and I mixed well until I got the desired color that I needed once I did that I had to add a little bit more food color once I got my colors that I needed I sprayed the pan and then I started to add each color um, you can use a tablespoon to add your colors to make sure it is even all around but you know I just used my the thing that I mixed with because I, I was using a scale to measure everything out you know once I did that all around each of my four separate pans I went around twice in each pan with at least a tablespoon and after I did that um, I shook the pans to make sure everything was even you know everything looked nice and I was getting ready to do the swirl once you do the swirl you can use a offset spatula whatever you have to make a swirl but make sure you go all the way to the bottom so I made my swirl and I went up and down and side to side once or twice and after that I swirled the next cake to get the tie-dye effect and I wind up keeping two of my cakes with the rainbow pattern as you can see these are my cakes now I'm about to place them into the oven they are out the oven now they came out nice now I'm about to decorate I'm placing my icing on top and once I place my icing on top I'm gonna add the filling which is pineapple filling um, then I'm gonna put my next layer and do the same thing once again which is add the icing and then put the filling on top the icing what I did was stack the cakes rainbow swirl rainbow swirl the colors look very vibrant and basically I'm just repeating the same process with the icing and with the filling now I am about to place the last piece of layer cake on top so I can prepare to decorate the cake now I am about to start to place the icing on the side of the cakes that way I can smooth everything around the cake very easy once I did the crumb coat I placed the cake in the fridge then I came and coated it another time with the icing and after I did that I was prepared to let it sit in the fridge for another 30 minutes to an hour so I can prepare to decorate with my colors once it was cooled I start to add the colors on my cake and I decorated it with the same colors that I use inside the cake to get the tie-dye effect and the rainbow effect once I added each color I went around with my spatula until I got every color incorporated how I wanted it nice and smooth then I was prepared to decorate the cake with some confetti which I went all around the cake with the confetti and I also used the glove when I did that part because I didn't want the icing to get stuck on my hands then I did the borders around the top of the cake once I finished the top of the cake I added confetti around the border of the top and this is how the tie dye cake turned out so far now I'm going to add the finishing touches to the cake. 